Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P. K. Ravakar. Today I am going to talk about another test, uh, another biochemical test and uh, the, uh, today's test is Sullivan and McCarty test. Uh, in my previous video, uh, we have talked about nitroprusside test, that was the test for a sulfur containing a, a specific amino acid that is cysteine. Uh, this Sullivan and McCarty test is a specific test for uh, methionine that is another sulfur containing amino acid or any protein which contains methionine. So we will see uh, this, uh, test, the procedures, uh, their definitions, uh, procedure results and interpretation we will see. This uh, Sullivan McCarty test is a biochemical test uh, for the detection of amino acid which contains methionine or any protein which contains methionine. You know that uh, we are having in our uh, biochemistry normally uh, 20 amino acids we are having which makes protein and out of those 20 amino acids, 2 amino acids are there which contains sulphur that is cysteine and methionine. The both the sulphur uh, which is present in cysteine and methionine are different. Sulphur containing terminal SH group that is called as sulfhydryl group and methionine contains uh, in between uh, sulphur. Uh, in the chain sulfur that is called as thioester sulfur. So both the sulfur which is present in cysteine and methionine behaves differently and their reaction also different. So that's why they both are going to give you different types of reactions. Uh, so nitroprusside test which was given by cysteine is not going to be given by methionine and this uh, Sullivan and McCarty test which is given by methionine will be not at all given by cysteine. So, cysteine and methionine are the two amino acids which contain sulfur group. The cysteine uh, SH group present in methionine is involved in the thioester linkage. That is difficult to break and that is why it was not detected by the Sullivan, I mean, uh, uh, nitroprusside test. In this test, this test is a very uh, specific test for methionine which has a high degree of specificity towards methionine as it gives negative result with all other 19 amino acids. So, only methionine gives you positive test. This test, however, will be given uh, a positive result also by glycylmethionine. That is another derivative of methionine, but it is not methionine, it is not the protein, but it is a one of the derivative uh, which is where glycine is and methionine is joined together, meaning it is uh, dipeptide, where two amino acid will be joined together, and that is this uh, um, dipeptide also gives you positive reaction. It is desirable method for methionine detection and it is a rapid and simple method for the assay of the methionine even if fermented extract. So wherever methionine will be there, in which condition methionine will be there, that will give you the positive test. So it is a very good test for the detection of methionine and it is a rapid, means very fast you can perform and it is a simple process. This Sullivan McCarty test is a color reaction. So it is a uh, normally we are going to get a colored product, and that colored product indicates you the presence of uh, certain uh, means methionine molecules. So so it is called as chromophoric or color producing or colorimetric test. The objective of this test is that to det detect the presence of amino acid methionine or methionine containing proteins. That is the first objective of this test is, and this is not nitroprusside test. This is the Sullivan and McCarty test and the differentiate methionine from other sulfur containing amino acid like cysteine and cysteine. So the principle of this test is uh, how this test is going to be given by positive uh, by Sullivan and McCarty test. So this test Sullivan and McCarty test is based on the reaction between the nitroprusside. Uh, here also the reagent contains nitroprusside only. So the here reaction can uh, occurs between nitroprusside and the alkaline solution of methionine under the acidification. This test was, this is the nitroprusside. So this test was developed when it was discovered that the tryptophan and histidine both produces a red color with nitroprusside under the similar conditions. Thus, acid is going to be added. So if you see the reaction here, we are having alkaline and as well as the acidification. So this acidification is added, that is in the sample test in order to destroy the tryptophan. And this alkaline, uh, in the presence of acid hydrolysis and addition of glycine eliminates the presence of histidine. So both tryptophan and histidine which gives you positive reaction here that will be removed. So acidification removes tryptophan and addition of glycine removes the histidine. So uh, tryptophan and histidine never gives you positive test. The presence of red color obtained after the addition of sodium nitroprusside to the alkaline solution of methionine. 
uh, followed by the acidification of this reaction. So this red color presents is the positive reaction means red color occurrence is known as positive test. What are the requirement we are having? We require uh, reagent. Reagents are 10% uh, sodium nitroproside, 5 uh, and sodium hydroxide that is alkaline, uh, 6 and HCl that is for acidification, glycine for the removal of histine, uh, and sa sample solution which will be your methionine solutions. Uh, then we require certain uh, re equipments, water bath, ice bath, vortex, test tube, test tube stand and pipettes. How this test is going to be performed? What is the procedure of the test? So first a few drop of sodium hydroxide are added to 1 ml test solution in a test tube. Then uh, once you have added the sodium hydroxide in the test solution, then we are going to add few uh, drops like of 2% of glycine and 10% sodium nitroproside solution is going to be added. So here we are having uh, alkaline and glycine we have added. This solution is then mixed together by placing in a vortex for 2 minutes. After that one the test tube is then placed in a water bath for 40 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. And the tube is then cooled on ice cooled bath or ice bucket you can call it for 5 minutes followed by the addition of HCl. So this is acidification and here we have added glycine for the removal of tryptophan and histidine. And the content are then mixed together in a vortex and the test tube is allowed to stand at the room temperature for 15 minutes and then we are going to observe the color formation. Now. Uh, the result if you will see the positive result means if the red color is going to form appearance of red color this is the indicates the presence of methionine and if you are going to have no color absence of the red color that is the indicate the absence of methionine that is your negative test so only either positive or negative test you can have this is the two tests how it will looks like uh, negative uh, Sullivan and McCarthy test means the absence of methionine where red color does not forms and the positive Sullivan and McCarthy test means the presence of methionine where red color is going to be appeared. So the use of this test is, so this test is used to detect the methionine either in a free form means only meth uh, methionine or in a in the form of protein. In the, uh, this test can also be modified for quantitative where the test sample can be matched against the standard methionine solution. And there are certain limitations also for this test. The test might give a positive result with commercial leucine as it might contain some traces of methionine. So that is a drawback where leucine will be there that will give you a positive reaction and the test, test might not give uh, reproducible result with the standard solution of methionine. So these are the, these two are the major limitations. Other than that one this is the very good test for methionine detections. So uh, we have two uh, sulfur containing amino acids cysteine and cysteine and methionine. Cysteine you can detect by nitroproside tests and methionine you can detect by this Sullivan and McCarthy test. So this is all about this test. I uh, hope you have understand it. I uh, one information to share with you on my video. Uh, thanks button has been activated by the uh, YouTube. If you want to uh, uh, support our channel, if you really like the video, you can click on the thanks button and you can support as much as whatever you want. So this is all about for today. You can follow me on different social networking sites. If you have any query, any comments, you can write in the comment box. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.